Hey Hoopers, here's a tutorial on one of my favorite hoop moves. It's a combo of a horizontal cat eye, ghosting, and pivoting in a circle. I call it my magic move because there's so much illusion in this trick. Grab your hoop, let's break it down. For teaching purposes, I find it easiest to imagine the hoop as a clock. 12 o'clock at the top, 3, 9, and 6 in their proper place. Starting with your hoop in front of you, your right hand palm facing down at 6 o'clock. Move your hand from 6 to 3 as you push the hoop across your body to the left. Your right arm should be straight, crossing your body, and the hoop should be on your left side. Don't keep the hoop in front of you, push it to the left. Now, you will move your hand from 3 to 9, counterclockwise, by letting the hoop roll over the top of your right hand as you push your arm from the left side of your body to the right. When your hand lands at 9, your arm should be straight, pointed away from your body. Now, your hand will move from 9 to 3, counterclockwise, keeping your tight grip on the hoop and moving your hand down to 6, then up to 3, as you push your arm back across your body. Notice when your hand passes through 6, your arm should be straight in front of you. Hey, it's just how we started! Repeat these steps while trying to imagine the bottom of the hoop staying level, as if rolling on a tabletop. This move is super important because when you are ghosting, only your right hand is doing the work. While it's doing this move, your left hand is loose, never actually gripping the hoop. This is all part of the illusion, so let's go ahead and add that left hand. At the start of your cat eye isolation, your left hand will be at the top of your hoop. You don't even need for your left hand to touch the hoop. I'll show you without the left hand touching it first so you can see how your right hand does all the work. As your right hand pushes to 3, your left hand also moves to 3. Let's see it from the back. When the hoop is on the left side of your body, like mine, both hands are at 3. Now, as you continue your right hand cat eye iso, your left hand passes behind your right, closer to your body, and travels down the hoop and over to the 9 o'clock position. This must be done as the hoop is traveling across your body to the right. And for the last left-handed bit, now your left hand passes over your right once again and travels to the top of the hoop, then continues to three. I know there's a lot of left, right, top, bottom. This is a very hard trick. Don't be discouraged if you aren't getting it yet. Just remember, your left hand and right hand meet at three and at nine. But other than that, they stay on opposite sides of the hoop. Once you get this, and you will with practice, you can add the turn. The reason why we learn the ghosting cat eye isolation first is because you need to understand that rhythm and that your left hand barely touches the hoop before you can start turning. But there is a big difference with the way your right hand stays on the hoop when you turn. As we learn in cat eye isolation, the hoop rolls over the back of your right hand as you're going from three to nine. However, when you're turning with this move, your right hand actually stays gripping the hoop the entire time, but it still travels around the hoop in the same way, from 6 to 3 to 9. Notice how my hand actually just is holding the hoop, but my left hand is still ghosting. My hands are still meeting at 3 and 9. When I push my hoop out to the left side of my body, I keep my left leg planted firm in the ground and I put my right foot in front of my left. Turning over my left shoulder, I push the hoop out to three. Keeping that left foot planted, I pick up my right again and turn to face the front, pushing the hoop to nine. You can play around with this. I think it looks great when the hoop looks like it's pulling you from one side to the other. I know this is tricky, so feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to explain them. Thanks for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. Happy hooping!